Example number one. Michael has some coins in his pocket consisting of dimes, nickels, and pennies. He has two more nickels than dimes and three times as many pennies as nickels. How many of each kind of coin he have if the total value is 52 cents? Okay. Uh, before we start solving this type of problem, um, sir, we, we're not familiar with the currency. Of course, you're in the Philippines. Our currency is in peso. We're not using penny nickel. Then we are using peso and centavo. So that is our uh, currency in peso this type of problem penny nickel dime is common in us so these are uh, american types of coins so before we do we before we solve this problem let's understand first this table okay so since this is a us currency so penny so the mnemonics for this uh, coin problem may be um, some of the problem in board exam were taken in the American books. That's why they are using the American currency, dollars. Okay, so let's, the mnemonics is PND or stands for penny nickel dime. So one penny is equal to one cent. One penny is equal to one cent. Nickel is 5 cent and dime is 10 cent. So the mnemonics is P N D stands for penny, nickel, and dime and 1 5 10. So quarter, we all know quarter is equivalent to 25. So if you want to uh, to expand your mnemonics to PNDQ, it's okay. But for me, PND is enough. Quarter, half, do half dollar, and dollar is uh, understandable. Okay, PND. So, what is our mnemonics for coin problem? PND stands for 1, 5, 10. So, 1, 5, 10. Of course, that is in cents. Okay, so that is in cents. Okay, so... One cent is equal to 0 0.01 in the in in dollar, or in 0.5 cents. So it changes from cents to to dollar. It's like a prefix from centimeter to meter. Okay, so it's like for cents, one cent. The the prefix changes from centimeter to meter. So that's how uh, decimal move. Okay, so I, I hope the our mnemonics pinnacle dime is clear. So let's start with the problem. So Michael has some coins in his pocket consisting of dimes. Uh, consisting of dimes. Mayroon siyang dime. And nickel. And a penny. Okay. So he has two more nickels than dimes. And three times as many pennies as nickels. So if we let, if we let x be our uh, number of, which is the common in the statement, has two dimes as many pennies as nickels. Okay, we can start with dimes. So we let x be our dimes. Okay. So from the statement, we can construct our um, variable in order for us to formulate our equation. So again, let's find the variables. So two more nickels than dimes. So if is x is our dimes, so there are two more nickels than dimes. So we can say that dimes two more plus two. So we can let x plus two be our nickels. Yes, that's correct. So that is our nickels. How about for our uh, the third variable? Three times as many pennies as nickels. 
Okay, so if this is x plus 2 is our nickels, so times 3 for that, that is your pennies. Okay, so so 3 times, so 3 times nickels, that is your penny. Okay, pennies. Okay, so our variable is clear. We have the dimes, the nickels, and the pennies. Now, to formulate our our equation, how many of each kind of coin he have if the total value is 52 cents? Okay, so the total of these three variables is 52 cents. So let's formulate our equation. Okay, but before we do that, uh, remember the values of our, uh, or in short, the units of these variables is in cents. So we need to include these multipliers. Yes, our multipliers going to our variables. So if if we formulate our equation, so that is x. So what is the unit of our dimes? That is 10 cents. So in short, x times 10 cents, right? And how about our nickels? A nickels is equivalent to 5 cents. So that is um, 5 and our nickels. And the third one is pennies, which is 1 cent. So 1 cent times 3x plus 2 is equal to 52 cents. So 52 cents, so all are in cents, okay? So the units of the, the left in the left equation are in cents and the, in the right equation are in cents. So in short, the units are aligned. They have all the same. Okay, so let's uh, solve simultaneously with our equation. Okay, solving for that, this will become 10x, that is 5x plus 10 plus 1 is the same that is 3x plus 6 is equal to 52 Goes. so transpose to the other side this will become 10 5 15 3 18 x okay so 52 minus 10 so the 42 42 minus 6 that will become 36 so therefore our x is equal to 36 divided your 18 that is 2 right so that is 2 so therefore uh how many of each kind from our variable determined from the statement the number of dimes is 2 the number of nickels that is 2 plus 2 that is 4 and the number of venice it should become 2, 4, 3, 4 times 3, that is 12. So there are 2 dimes, 4 nickels, and 12 pennies. Okay? So, if we're going to total, if we're going to check if our equation is correct, our total cents is in 52 cents. Okay? So, 2 dimes, what is equivalent of our two times? That is 10 cents. And it will become 20 cents. About four nickels. What is the equivalent of four nickel? That is five cents. That is will become 20. How about for our penny? That is 12. Equivalent of our penny is one cent. That is 12. So the sum is 52 cents. Okay, so we can safely assume that our answer is correct. Okay, let's move to our next example.